Hello, my crafty friends. I'm sharing another tower pinwheel card today, this time in the five by seven. When I had made the A2 size one, I said I wanted to do it again. I wanted to try a five by seven size. And let me tell you, I am really, really happy with this size. It will fit in an A7 envelope. So folded, my card is seven by five inches. And this is how it looks coming out of the envelope. And then it has four different paddles or pinwheels or sections. So it's like a never ending card. I am really liking these and I think I will make another one. The final panel here is for our personal message. So I pulled out some older retired items from my stash, used up some things as well. I used a craft card stock base, but my tower itself was created using uh, the, the pattern paper. And you can see that there is almost no bulk. This card will mail for a single stamp, which is pretty impressive. And it stands so nicely for display. I really liked the size of the five by seven. Each of these panels just more opportunity for decorating. I went through my Thanksgiving bin. I've had these stickers for several years. They are clear stickers and I adhered them to white cardstock and that gave them some stability. That also makes it easy for them to be popped up with foam tape and that would have been a really nice look but I was trying to keep this card as flat as possible just to see if I could because I had foam tape to everything. Um, so yeah I did glue everything flat on this card but if you adhered the sticker directly to the panel before putting it on white cardstock, there would have been a bend in the sticker, a crease along each side of this pattern paper because this strip was glued on top. There is a bit of a ridge. So adding it to white cardstock, it doesn't take very long to fussy cut and that gave me my embellishment. So the Thanksgiving greeting is another sticker. The beautiful foiled pattern paper is retired from Stampin' Up. A friend had actually sent me a couple of sheets from her package. And when I saw how beautiful it was, and then it popped up on the Stampin' Up clearance rack, I did buy a package. Now, I say this a lot. I don't need any more pattern paper. I have tons of pattern paper, but I could not resist the colors and the beautiful foiling in this paper. The labels here are actually from Karen Berniston's Catherine label. If I cut several for a project and don't end up using them, I don't then put them in recycling. I add them to a little box. So I went through the box when I was decorating this card and the gold label, the green one, and the one for our personal message, they were already cut and in that box. The colors worked, so I pulled those three out. The sentiment that on this oval here is from Tailored Expressions, Thanksgiving Blessings. Really get a lot of use out of that stamp set. There's some more clear stickers. Now this one I did not adhere to white cardstock. I adhered it right to the oval. And the ovals were all die cut using Hero Arts Infinity Ovals. I like the kind of chubby roundness of those. Another one of my gold foil leaves adhered to white cardstock and fussy cut. Another one there and the acorns here. Now this kind of resin uh, sticker here, oh gosh, maybe 10 years ago, I found them on clearance at Michael's and they were in a sleeve. There was probably six different ones on each sleeve and they were like 25 cents. So I picked up maybe four of the packages. Oh, it takes a really long time to go through that many of them. So I did, um, I did pull one out and add it here. The colors worked really well. This is a sticker that I didn't add to white cardstock. I just slipped it under the oval before I glued the oval down. And you can see the difference of the clear sticker attached to colored cardstock as opposed to white and then fussy cutting. And then finally our place for a personal message. So I don't remember if I said or not, but I am going to link Linda's video in the description box below. There's lots of tutorials for making these tower pinwheel cards, but I really liked her video and rather than just recite her measurements. I think she deserves the, the viewings on YouTube. So I'm gonna link her video below. She has all the measurements for tower pinwheel cards starting from a note card size through A2, five by seven, and even some line. So it's, and she's got tips and tricks. It's worth it to check out her video. And I can see me making more of these for sure. They are so much fun and they're easy. And the fact that they are so flat and they stand for display, I'm sold. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.